Hello. So yesterday the new Unity UI was released, and I've been working with it quite a bit since then, and I figured I'd take you on a tour of some of the idiosyncrasies that might catch you unaware, so that hopefully you won't have any issues while you're working with this new UI. Nothing is more annoying than not knowing what's going wrong. So first let me show you how this works. I've got a, uh, a menu button that just pops up. This UI button just pops up when you get close enough and it goes away when you don't. And I've just animated it. It's a very basic, straightforward thing. But you can see that it's not getting highlighted. Why is that? Well, that's because if you are using mouse lock, then you often will mouse lock the, the uh, cursor outside of that window. It's down here. You can solve that by clicking and then putting the mouse into the window and clicking again, and now it works. I think this is a bug, and I think they'll fix it. Uh, and it might not happen if you do a play, maximize on play, or something like that. You can see that this button doesn't change, it just always says light and highlights yellow. Let's look at a more complicated example. So here I've got a very complex menu with has, which has four buttons that allow me to control the four robots. And you can see if I press stop welding it turns into begin welding and if I press begin welding it turns into stop welding. In the old version I might have tried to change those buttons by um, script and you know changing their color or their text but it's actually very difficult to change the color of these buttons now because those are, that's something that's defined in the inspector uh, and I think it's compiled into an animation. Anyhow, I couldn't figure out any easy way to change it, so I just created different buttons. You can see over here on the left, these are the menus. Each of these menus is one of the four robots. This is an empty uh, game object that contains two canvases. You can do this with one canvas. I split it into two because I was having some problems with, a, with the bug I'm about to talk about, but it's not related. You can do it with, with one canvas. Meaning that you can tilt buttons and so on within the canvas. Anyhow, within the tilted panel I've got two groups. I've got the group that has the welding, stop welding and the group that has the start welding. Pretty simple. And what I do is I use these canvas groups. These canvas groups are probably going to be your best friend if you plan to do adaptive uh, units, adaptive interfaces. You can change all of these values either in script or in animation, and you can even make the basic canvas a canvas group. So when I need to, when I click on the stop welding, I make this one vanish and make the other one start. And when I click on the start, but when I make this one vanish and the other one start, so you just keep one of them invisible at all times. But here is an idiosyncrasy you're going to want to be careful of. Even if something is not interactable, it will still intercept your mouse. So you see this here, block raycasts. You have to turn that off. If you don't, you're going to have an invisible object that just blocks your mouse and you're going to go off the wall trying to figure out why nothing is being highlighted properly. Another thing to be aware of is that from by default these things can't be highlighted from behind. So there's no no highlighting going on here. It works fine from the front, doesn't work from behind. If you do want to use your canvas from behind, you're going to have to go to the canvas and select this ignore reversed graphics turn it off. See? Pretty straightforward. Just keep it in mind. Now the last idiosyncrasy that you're going to want to be aware of is that when you are, well, the last one I happen to know of right now, when you are creating your first canvas, this, um, where is it? Event system, there it is. This event system gets created automatically. The event system has a bunch of things in it, but unfortunately this one is very annoying. You need it in order for them to work but uh, they start hijacking your horizontal and vertical axis. This means that as you are walking around in a first-person game, every time you press up, the next button highlights. Every time you press right, the next button highlights. It's a, it's a terrible catastrophe. But if you turn this off, the whole system stops working. So what I did is I created some empty axis called zip, and I just made it so that it's zip. 
Um, but this is, I'm pretty sure, going to be a misfeature that they're going to fix later. They're going to have like a toggle where we can turn off keyboard control. Anyway, those are the four basic bugs that I want you to be aware of. Then they are uh, access being screwed up in this. Uh, clicking from the back doesn't usually work. Uh, clicking on invisible canvas elements is possible and very annoying. And if you are using screen lock, your mouse can be locked but not count as in your window. Anyhow, that said, I'm really a big fan of this new UI. And I've managed to create a pretty cool looking interface quite quickly. If you have questions as to how to do something specific with this, let me know. It seems pretty straightforward, so I haven't run into anything aside from those bugs that's really slowed me down at all. But uh, if there are enough people that need specific help with a specific thing, I can do a tutorial for that. Anyway, that's it. Thank you.